Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first interview with a new signing today. I'm going to be joined by Harvey Gilmore. How are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Good, good to be here. Obviously, you're announced as the, uh, the first new signing. Just want to say welcome to the club. How does it feel to finally sign? Uh, yeah, um, I think I was in a bit of a, a sticky situation after leaving Stockport, but uh, I had the interest from Halifax and, you know, I thought it was sort of a no-brainer to me. Um, you know, big club and everything like that. It was, uh, yeah, it was an easy, easy decision. And uh, did you see, did you watch that uh, video that Tom Stacey made to announce your signing? Yeah, I, uh, that's probably the best, one of the best uh, videos of an announcer sign that I've seen, to be fair. Uh I think it helps me having the name of Harvey Gilmore. I think it's quite easy doing the Happy Gilmore, but it was good. I enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, quality video. Uh, so let's just start off with your career. Obviously, you, you came through the youth ranks at sort of Sheffield United, spent a bit of time mm. out on loan at Tranmere. How was that? Uh, yeah, it was good. Um, I think when you get to about 18, 19, you think, you're think thinking of you know playing uh, first-team football. And I was lucky enough to get that chance at Tranmere. Uh, I think I spent two years there and it was... It was an insight of what, you know, what proper football is compared to, you know, the academies. But, you know, I enjoyed it. Enjoyed, I enjoyed going to Stockport after that as well. And, you know, I've, I can't really say a bad word about it. And obviously then you were at Tranmere on loan and then in 2019 you made that, that move permanent. Uh, mm. And then you also helped them to the, the League Two playoffs. What was that like? Uh, surreal, surreal season. Um I think because we just come up the last the last season, no one was was really um, expecting us to go, you know, all the way. And you know, we had some good players in there like Ollie Banks, James Norwood, people like that, and a good a good setup, good gaffer. Uh, and it was it was unbelievable. I think that that day, I know I didn't play, I was on the bench, but you know, just being part of that team was probably one of my biggest moments in football so far. And obviously, after leaving Tramie, then you made the switch to Stockport for last season, dropping down into non-league. What was that change yeah. like? Um, not really. Uh, not really any different. You know, the standard was still good in training. You know, there was, there's some really good teams in that league. So, you know, for me, it was it was never really a change. Um, you know, since playing League Two, it's not really a big difference. Uh, yeah. Um, obviously, it wasn't probably the best season you, you've ever had. Struggle for a minute. It was- just difficult yeah. to, to get game time, really, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was. It was a tough season for me last season. I think, um, you know, even mentally as well, it's hard when you're not playing and you know you're starting to fall out of love with the game and stuff like. That. But you just got to keep your head down and you know keep training. I got. I got my chances and you know I got unlucky with a red card and it got overturned and stuff like. That. Uh, yeah, and I picked up an injury and stuff like. That. So, you know, the luck would just weren't just go, weren't going for me, but. You know, credit to Stockport for keeping me there for that season. You know, they, they understood that, you know, I'm a hard-working kid that's not going to, you know, up, upset anyone or the dressing room. I'll just keep my head down and keep working. And now, obviously, how does it feel to be announced as the, the first new signing of this summer? Yeah, buzzing. I'm buzzing. Um, you know, I'm from Sheffield, so I, I, can't, I know quite a bit about Halifax. Uh, it's only up the M1. Um, you know, big club, big club as well, Uh and I had a quick, uh, had a quick um, meeting with the gaffer and the assistant, and you know, they just obviously put over what they wanted to, you know, do this season, and you know, I, I was happy doing that, fitted right into what I wanted to do. And, and yeah, what what was the meeting the gaffer like for the first time? Yeah, it was good. It was very calm. Um, he just basically told us, you know, what this. Uh, philosophy is there and how they train and you know I know um I know Sarge the trainer there as well so I know what he's all about and they told us what you know what um how they play uh, what they can help me with what I'll, what I'll, what I can help them with so you know it was an easy conversation and then when I left that uh you know I think it was stuck in my head that I wanted to sign and obviously you knew one of the coaches before you joined but did you know any of the other players uh, I've played so the ones who got sold, you know, Jack and uh, Kingy. I was, we've played. I played against them for a couple of years, and you know, the 18s and the 23s when they was at Bolton. I was at Sheffield, so I know what I know what like how they played, and they were good, good set of players. And I'm not surprised with them being moved up because they're good players. So, what sort of kind of player are you, and what what can we expect to see you bring to the team? 
uh, energetic. You know, I can play on. You know, I like to play off one and two touch. I can play more in the pocket. I can play deeper. You know, I'm, I've got got legs in me, and you know, I come out with a couple of goals, a couple of assists, and I work. 100% every day in training and games. And I suppose one of the main goals for you was to get consistent minutes under your belt as well. Yeah, I think that's what I've struggled with since I've become a professional footballer, the minutes-wise. Um, I haven't got like a good run of games. I think I'd have had about six, six run of games for Tranmere. Um, and then it and then it just like dibbled in and out. But yeah, I think this season for me mainly is to get as much minutes as I can for, for the team. Obviously, still young, very early days in your career. Just, just how far do you think you can go? Um, who knows? Really, it depends on you know. What I mean, I think, I think you earn, I think you earn your luck in football. But if you, if you play well every week, and you know that all, all the gaffers, all the managers, and everyone in the stand knows that you know you want to be there. You're working hard and coming up with the goals, contributing well. I think you know you never know where you're going to end up. And uh, finally, how are you looking forward to pre-season? Oh, I'm excited. Um, it's been a long, because we finished on like the, thir- the 13th of June or something. So it's been quite a while for me, um, you know, coming back in the 19th of July, uh, five weeks for the ga- uh, first game of the season. But I'm, I'm buzzing. I can't wait to, can't wait to get started. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's all for the first interview with the new signing. Not too long now until pre-season starts and the uh... Wish you all the best, Harvey, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you play alive. Cheers, pal. Cheers, Luke. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks.